a classic gooey cheesy party dip stuffed and rolled inside a warm fluffy low carb bun. You're gonna wanna get your hands on these buns. Outside every good bun is pastry dough. Since I make low carb recipes, I can't just use regular bread flour. Instead, I'm using one and a half cups of almond flour. To help my dough rise and to give it structure, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of xanthan gum. For flavor, one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Since I'm not using a carb heavy flour that contains gluten in this recipe, I need to have something that gives this dough elasticity. The best way to achieve this is to use mozzarella cheese. Melt 10 ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese in the microwave at 60 second intervals. You could also melt this on a nonstick skillet over the stove top if you think that the microwave is the devil. Hi grandma. Now that it's gooey and melted, add that to the food processor along with an egg and mix it until a dough ball forms. You can use an electric mixer or your hands to do this too, but a food processor, especially this one by Breville, is so much faster. Seriously, Mr. Chops, I was just telling them how amazing you are, and then you go and do this to me? Don't make me pull out those photos of Cuisinart. I'm tempted. Mix until the dough is evenly incorporated and looks like this. You can see how stretchy this is thanks to that cheese. What I love about this recipe is that you can serve it at any meal, well, except dessert, but appetizer, dinner, breakfast, this is so good with a warm cup of coffee. Speaking of coffee, if you want to be able to make the perfect cup of iced or hot coffee every time in an under a minute, you must try these coffee capsules by Cometeer. My sponsor for today's video. These aren't your typical coffee capsules. In fact, you don't need a machine to brew these at all. It's a new format of coffee. It's already brewed and flash frozen to ensure freshness and peak flavor. They arrive frozen and ship to your door monthly with customizable options like decaf, light, dark roast, and they have new roasts every month. Just peel open your capsule, drop it into your mug, then add 68 ounces of hot water to melt and stir. And I gotta add a little cream to my coffee. I've been enjoying this coffee for several months now. There's no bitter flavor, no sediment. It's smooth and well-balanced. But why I really love this coffee is that it's so easy to make. Cometeer has their best deal yet. For a limited time, you can get $20 off each of your first two orders, so a total of $40 off both, when you use my code KETOFOCUS at cometeer.com. So head over there quickly right after you finish making your buns. Roll out the dough in between two sheets of parchment paper, but to keep your parchment paper from sliding around all over the place, place a damp paper towel down first. It's a little helpful trick I picked up from one of you guys. Roll it into a long rectangle shape as best you can. I didn't get a ruler out to figure out how long or wide or thick I made this, so I'd say it was probably about as long and wide as a Nike shoe box, adult size, and as thick as a Tic Tac. Now for the spinach artichoke filling. Add eight ounces of softened cream cheese to a large bowl, a half a cup of mayonnaise. For flavor, add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon each of red pepper flakes, salt, and pepper. Mix this together with an electric mixer until it's smooth and creamy. For the artichoke hearts, I'm using a jar of these marinated ones. Really wasn't necessary. You could just get the canned stuff because it's cheaper because I'm just going to end up draining this anyway. Try to squeeze out as much moisture as possible, then chop it up into smaller chunks. For the spinach, use a 9 to 10 ounce bag of frozen spinach. Thaw it out first, drain it, and then press out as much of the liquid as possible or else you're going to end up with soggy buns. Then add in six ounces of shredded sharp white cheddar cheese. Monterey Jack cheese will work too, or pepper jack if you want it spicy. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Then mix this together. Plop on your filling and spread it out evenly. And this is just spinach artichoke dip here, so if you have any left over, you could actually just heat it up and use it as a dip. Roll it up using the longer side so that you end up with a longer tube. With rolling this, I realized that I could have used the entire spread here, but such is life. I don't always end up making the right decision. Using a sharp knife, cut off your buns into one inch slices. And if you use a shoe box and a Tic Tac to measure this, you should end up with nine buns. Place these on a parchment lined baking tray and then brush them with melted butter. Then bake them in a 375 degree oven for 35, 40 minutes. If they start to turn a little bit too brown on top, just cover them with a tinted piece of aluminum foil. These are best served warm, fresh out of the oven because that cheese will be gooey. If you find yourself wanting cinnamon rolls now, because you probably do after seeing these, don't use this recipe. I have a better keto cinnamon roll recipe that doesn't use cheese or fat head dough. Click right here to see what I do instead.